Over 23 million people in America have diabetes, and another 5 million don't even know that they do. Diabetes is very common in the Hmong community due to genetics and a change in lifestyle since arriving in the United States. I went to Sierra Community Health Center and spoke with diabetes specialist Dory Lewis about diabetes. Symptoms like extreme hunger, frequent urination, unusual thirst, extreme fatigue, blurry vision, and unusual weight loss are just some of the signs that you might be at risk of diabetes. And if you don't get treated, diabetes can lead to serious complications. What diabetes actually is, is the body is not able to handle sugar properly. The body doesn't um, produce enough hormones to utilize the sugar in the body properly and so what happens is the sugar comes out in the urine or in the blood and can cause some problems, cause some side effects. In Laos, the Hmong never dealt with diabetes. They farmed, which required a lot of physical activity. Also, food was limited and eating pork and fatty foods promoted survival and health. However, in the United States, with the largest fast food industry in the world, High in fat, unhealthy foods are more convenient to the younger Hmong generation. There's a real epidemic occurring with children um, because of the lack of exercise and excessive food that we have available to them. Over 1.6 million new cases of diabetes are diagnosed each year. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form for Asian Americans. Type 1 diabetes means that the patient doesn't produce any insulin at all. So the patient would have to take insulin injections. Mm -hmm. They'd have to take shots. Type 2 diabetes means that the patient actually does produce insulin, but it either is not working effectively for them. And so sometimes if they change their eating habits, exercise, or take oral medications or insulin, that they can control their diabetes that way. So, many have to constantly check their blood sugar level, take their medication, and watch what they eat and drink. This is a glucose meter. Um, you do need strips, lancets, um, to check your blood with. And then also you need a lancet device to poke your finger. The lancet is right underneath there. Okay, and I'm putting this in there. So this is ready to go. And the next thing I'm going to do is if you put the strip directly into the meter, you can see most of them will have barcodes and you stick barcode into the meter and it will usually turn on the meter and that's showing the code of the, meat, of the strips, which confirmation that it's the correct code. Mm -hmm. And then the meters will usually tell you when to put the blood on. Do you see, can you zoom in on the black dot? Okay, that's telling you when to put the blood on. If you put the blood, blood on too soon, or on top of the strip, it won't read. So we're going to put the blood right on the side, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate. What you want to do is clean your hands. Uh, soap and water is fine. You don't have to use alcohol, so soap and water is fine. And I've already got this all ready, so the lancet's in there. Go ahead and poke on the side of my finger. Actually, I didn't get enough. This also dials it how deep you want the needle to go. Okay, that I got. It's, and you squeeze the finger until you get a drop of blood. Okay, and all you have to do is hold the meter up to it, to the side, and it will suck the blood into it. So no blood on the top, just on the side, and in five seconds it's got the blood sugar. Sharps and syringes needs to be uh, placed in a hazardous waste container like this. It can be purchased in your local pharmacy and it does need to go into the hazardous waste. It is important to check your blood sugar level throughout the day. Test in the morning before you eat and after you eat. Before your first meal, it should be between 70 and 120. Two hours after your meal, your reading should be under 140. Your blood sugars changes throughout the day between uh, eating and not eating. Also, if there's stress or illness, uh, that can affect your blood sugars. And if you've been diagnosed with diabetes, you want to be able to evaluate your treatment. You know, the changes that I've made, are they working or not working, or do I need to make more changes? Ask your doctor about A1C, 
which measure your average blood glucose level over the last three months, and get your A1C check twice a year. For type 1, the only medication that they can take is insulin. If they're type 2 diabetes, then the first medication is usually an oral pill called metformin. And then there's about six different types of classifications of pills that patients can actually take, but usually metformin is the first step. And most patients will be on two to three different types of pills before they actually get started on insulin. High blood pressure puts you at risk of heart attacks, strokes, blindness, and kidney disease. Um, probably half the patients that are on dialysis, kidney failure, um, have diabetes. Diabetes is also the number one cause of blindness. Um, probably half the patients with uh, heart surgeries, open heart surgeries, have, had, have diabetes. So these are all the complications that occur if you don't control your diabetes. So what can you do to help prevent yourself from developing diabetes? By living a more active lifestyle and choosing a healthier eating habit. What we recommend is for patients to eat a healthy diet of uh, three meals a day and with each meal to have some type of protein source such as chicken or beef or fish or cheese. If they have a protein source with their carbohydrates, carbohydrates are starches and fruit and milk. If they have protein with each meal, they'll balance their diet out. So what we're recommending is a balance with protein and vegetables and salad and fresh fruit. And they can have rice or potatoes or starch with their meals. They just need to uh, limit the quantity. People with diabetes must try to cut back on added fats, salt, and sugar. Eat more fresh foods, like fruits and vegetables. And instead of drinking regular soda, replace it with diet drinks. The best way to prevent diabetes by eating a healthy diet, watching your weight, getting uh, normal ex or regular exercise, and um, to check your blood sugars on a yearly basis to see if you are at risk or if you have prediabetes or diabetes. Or if there's diabetes in your family, then other family members need to learn how to um, make eating habit changes and lifestyle changes. Talk to your doctor about what is the best diabetes plans for you. If you feel you have any symptoms related to diabetes, we advise you to get your blood test. You should talk to your physician or get more information at the Community Health Center. They also have classes available for those living with diabetes.